Hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial video in Karate series. In this part, we will see how to generate Karate reports using Cucumber Reporting Library. Also, how to run the scripts in parallel. Okay, so let's get started. Karate, we already have uh, a default sure file reports. So uh, let us run this report now. Here we can see uh, the reports is present in this folder, in the target folder under sure file reports folder, right? So you can open this. You will be able to see two HTML files because we have two feature files, right? So if we open this with some browser, you can see the report over here. Then status and match expected response and the time it takes, all these things. And if you open this, you can see the second scenario in the user details 2 dot feature file okay now let's see how to generate this report using cucumber html reports okay for that we can use a cucumber reporting open source library i'll show you uh, you can refer the test report section and karate documentation you can see over here for example here below is an actual report generated by the cucumber reporting open source library this kind of report this is the report that we are going to generate now right okay so you can open this cucumber reporting open source library and what they are telling you can add a maven dependency to your poem open the poem file you can add the dependency over here okay and i'm going to give a version 3.8.0 fine now what we have to do is to run the script in parallel we cannot use this run with annotation we are simply writing a g unit test class okay so this one we can remove and We'll refer that uh, parallel runner. So what they are telling, do not use the run with karate door class annotation. This is a normal G unit for test class. Okay, so you can use this code for uh, parallel running. It's written. It's provided in the demo test parallel to java class okay in github in karate hit github so i am just also we can copy all the dependencies also okay the unused dependencies i am avoiding okay I'm adding a string to avoid this. And I have not used any, uh, I have not um, setting any system property, so I'm avoiding this, removing this line, okay? Now, let's run this. okay so our test is passed let's refresh this folder okay so you are able to see cucumber html reports folder now right you can open this features.html in some browser see the cucumber html reports now we are able to see all the durations how many are passed, how many have failed, everything you will be able to see. Okay. And 
you can expand this also just like a normal cucumber uh, maven reporting uh, plugin okay here are the tag steps and failures in the features you can see the count uh, it's number of uh, passed as five in each feature file it's five the count five was actually the number of steps in this feature file so you can see over here one and there are four steps over here okay so the total is five right okay now let's go to this uh, logging section so uh, actually that uh, count the number of uh, past and failed test cases you can see over here but to avoid this uh, default logging or to format this logging we can add an xml file that uh, they have only provided that this is the you can refer the logging section you can add a xml file there and our src test java file folder only and the content fine now let's run again see now you are able to see nice logs right and now let's check so what is this uh, five this is the number of threads so this is the count of number of threads okay so in five threads our scripts will be running in parallel and you can see the thread time efficiency ignored all these things so we have two feature files both the feature files are actually running in parallel okay and uh, for example if you have uh, one more scenario and uh, feature file okay uh, for example users four not validating anything and now if we try to run this file actually what happening is even the scenarios in the feature file will be running in parallel so these two scenarios and the one scenario which is in the other feature file so all the scenarios will be running in parallel okay now let's run it again okay so all the scenario all the three scenarios will be running in parallel and now if you don't want to run one of the scenario in parallel for example if you have some 10 scenarios in your feature file and you don't want to run one of this uh, scenario in uh, parallel okay so what you can do is you can uh, use a tag at parallel equal to false okay but even then uh, this feature files will be running in parallel only the scenario inside this feature file won't be running in parallel but all the feature files uh, will be running in parallel okay now how can you ensure that actually if this is actually running in parallel so i can show you that before that we will see an, uh, an important tag in this karate framework there is a tag ignore so it's a default feature in karate framework if you use this uh, ignore tag uh, on the top of any feature file that feature file will be will not be running if you run the whole script okay. i'm going to add this in test runner file okay and import this karate options now what I'm doing is I'm giving this tag on top of this uh, user details two dot feature. Okay. Okay. Now if I run this file, let me just delete this reports. Now only user details one should be run right you can see past is two because there are two scenarios over here and if you see the report
only one use editor is one dot feature as we run ok now we will see if the scenarios are actually running in parallel or not ok for that I am adding a sleep function over here I have written a sleep function and I am calling that sleep function in both scenarios let me change it to uh, some around uh, 10 seconds ok for both scenarios ok now let's run this now let's check the timings 27 see it's already over almost it was like uh, 12 or uh, 13 seconds right but here you can uh, see third time is 24 seconds because this is actually calculated by taking the total of each thread okay and now if you use that uh, parallel equal to false tag it won't be running in parallel and then we'll see how much time it is taking Ten seconds are over now. Twenty seconds also over. See, it actually, it uh, this is the actual time taken. Okay, twenty three seconds. The thread timing is almost similar in both cases because it is getting calculated by taking the sum of each thread. But the actual time taken in parallel running is very less. Okay. Now I will show you one other thing. Suppose you want to run your scripts in parallel, but you want your Cucumber HTML reports. In that case, what you can do is go to this test runner folder, I mean test runner class and you can directly give the path over here so what this statement is doing the cell start get report directory it's taking the report directory location from this runner class right if you try to print out this line directory the cell start get report directory let's see what is See, we got this target surefire reports because if you go to the stress runner, cl runner class, you will be able to see if the directory, if it is null, they are picking the surefire reports directory, okay? They are creating, if that directory is not there, then they are creating the surefire reports directory, right? And you can, if you want, you can directly give the path over here also. Okay. And then also we will get the same result. I'm refreshing it. Then also we'll get the same result. If you don't give any path over here, then that uh, script itself will uh, store the results in the sure file reports. Okay. And now uh, let's come to our point. Uh, you don't want to run your scripts in parallel, but you just want to run your uh, but you just want uh, your Cucumber uh, HTML reports. Then what you can do is you can directly give the path over here. And remove the statement, this parallel running thing, and this two line also you don't need, right?
Okay. Now I'm just deleting this folder. Okay. Now if you refresh it, you'll be able to see the Cucumba HTML reports. But parallel running has not happened. Okay. Fine. So that's all about this Karate Cucumber HTML reports and parallel running features. We'll see some other feature in my next video. Till then, take care. Bye. Thank you.